According to Machinist member Brianna Halverson, it made sense for the IAM to return to the Netroots Nation Conference held this year in Minneapolis, a convention that brought together more than 2,000 progressives from every walk of life. Like this is the future, this is how we're going to start organizing people, this is how we're going to contact people um, that don't know how great a union is. And for her, bragging about the machinist starts with U-Cubed. I really like U-Cubed. Um, I think that you know people need to be able to keep connected because they might have to shift jobs. Unfortunately, like we're not in an economy where you can stay at a job for 20 years anymore, but staying connected to the machinist might mean that they want the machinist on their, uh, their new job. Just a quick look around shows the world that the future is now. With a laptop, computer, or even just a smartphone, everyone has a voice. And that's making a difference in the labor movement. Everyone saw the effect of harnessing the power of progressives in social media earlier this year in Wisconsin. Uh, and all of you, the bloggers, I mean, we could not have done it without you and without the support. Uh, that you gave us in Wisconsin. We've got to continue that momentum, continue uh, that uh, aggressive behavior, not only in Wisconsin, but across this country. Mm -hmm. Ari, the role, the role of uh, social media in both communication and in making sure that the message was clear was just phenomenal. We went from 62 interactions on our Facebook page in January to 26,000 in those first three weeks of February. Mm -hmm. New social media ideas, like U-Cubed, may be the key to the future success of the progressives and possibly the labor movement. The independent bloggers found here are a good example. Labor needs to figure out how to organize so many young people these days working gigs instead of jobs. U-Cube could be a way that we organize you know, independent contractors to be in a union and to have similar benefits. And rethinking what unions mean to a new economy with new kinds of jobs. But the exhibits weren't the only draw to get people talking and listening. Senator Al Franken reminded the progressives here that their work was far from done, and that the message of the past should be the same in the future, and that's to help the middle class. And while our vision was broad, the policies we fought for from the social safety net to workers' rights to investments in our manufacturing sector we're grounded in values that began as progressive but have become simply American. And put a stop to those trying to hurt this great country. They are talking about turning their backs on the America that we have built. They're talking about ripping apart the fabric of our society. They're talking about a transformation of our country, about undermining our tradition so radically they might as well be tearing stars off the flag. For the Machinist News Network, I'm Deirdre Kanievsky.